ecosystem. Ecosystem, infrastructure is easy to create for the government. Government can create. But that ecosystem which is there in the brain, no? That cannot be created. That has to come from you. Indiv each individual. The problem I see with India, we are always negative mind. Very, very negative mind. Day starts with the negative thinking. And it ends with the neg night also negative mind. And I think we change that. We start looking everything colorful. Every person is a great human being. We look at positively everything. Then our ecosystem in mind also will change. I think that's a very critical. That ecosystem, government cannot do anything. It is there within us to change. For example, when we did the Bharat Biotech, when we went to Genome Valley, there was no Genome Valley. It was a snake valley. When Chandra Naidu was the secretary, I mean, the chief minister, when uh, David Rigaud was the revenue minister, I had to fight with the system to get that uh, Bharat Biotech land there, that place. When I got the land, because I want to be located away from the city, in earthquake comes, a biological warfare should not happen to the city. Okay, That's why I located in that place. Then I told Shekha, that time Sheila Bede was the industry secretary, Acharya was the commissioner of the industry. We made a strategy how to convert that into a genome value, how to convert into an infrastructure ecosystem that we created. But still that ecosystem is created, but still long way to go with the, to change the mindset of the people. Genome is created, but each one doesn't want to talk to each other. <laughs> each one is suspicious about each other. That's a problem. That ecosystem has to come within us. I think that's leaving apart that. In 60 days, what innovation has come in the world? I was puzzled in the last 60 days. Usually most of the innovation happens when a war, war happens. After war comes a lot of innovation comes in, globally. And then what happens is in the pandemic, I see in the pandemic anything has created innovation. You know, because everybody's sitting in the houses. Nobody's say working in the lab. Does it come innovation? And I was shocked to see some of the innovation what happened globally. I tell you, the Stanford made in five hours sequencing the entire genome, human genome. That means I can give my blood sample today morning and I can find out a evening whether I have any genetic disorder. By evening. You see where do we where do we stand? In five hours. Exactly five hours. Entire genome sequencing of the human blood. That means bacteria means can be sequestered in probably in ten minutes. So this change, science is changing. You look at the MIT where Vaishnava was talking about it. I had to appreciate Vaishnava because he has come from India, from US to India. He wants to create a new people in the country. I mean, we have to appreciate for his time spending in India to make things to happen. I think we are all grateful to those sort of people, individuals in the country who are creating that type of platform for the country. And uh, second one, MIT has come out a biodegradable tape. That means you don't need a surgeon now. You got a, uh, sir, you fell down somewhere, you got a, uh, this got broken down or punctured the skin, you just put the tape and you stop your biodegradable tape. You don't need a surgeon. You don't need to go to hospital. Just look at the internet. You see, simple thing, biodegradable tape. So if you have interest in bleeding, just open it, put the uh, your tape, and you don't need switches at all, and you're done. Third, and uh, with, with the chemistry, which is very interesting, Many antibiotics have become resistant to, uh, when all the bacteria have become resistant to antibiotic, existing antibiotic. What they did in Switzerland, I think Switzerland, uh, Lausanne, that's somewhere, uh, using a supercomputer model, they found, okay, even ampicillin, the bacteria is resistant to ampicillin. They look at the same ampicillin structure, change the small, what structure is maybe required to modify within the existing antibiotic that can make it more susceptible to the bacteria, with the existing structure itself. Now they're not, because you develop a new molecule, will be a long term, 20 years, 25 years of time. Okay, simple existing structure itself, they modified a simple thing and they come out with an answer that it can be made the that antibody which was resistant, made it susceptible to the bacteria. Simple idea. And I have another one, drone, uh, I think in Sweden. What they did is, somebody got a heart attack in somewhere in the remote, remote village, and they sent by drone, uh, deep ablated, cardiac deep ablated, by drone delivered to the person and rescued the patient. And in Hyderabad with the traffic, you know, the 108, what are that vehicle, I think you will not even uh, get out of the uh, gate of the Hyderabad or the University campus. You'll be off. I mean, it's simple technology drone. And I can give you hundreds of examples like that uh, from the, in the last uh, 60 days. Uh, tremendous revolution is happening in science. And particularly in biology, much more is happening. And I think you're going to see that. And I think when we see that, when we stand as India, we are struggling ourselves to make a biosimilar biology, say, generic, 
and all that we are still struggling on that matter. Okay, and I think you know coming with uh, the many startups are here. When he was talking about the question about ecosystem, I think people Bangalore ecosystem. And I asked some of the young people, sir, a lot of hops are there in Bangalore. It's nice to have in that ecosystem. <laughs> Okay, the many people want to have Bangalore city because of pub. <laughs> okay, but nobody wants to think of biryani, Hyderabad biryani as an ecosystem. Okay, so I think uh, it is there in our mind that ecosystem uh, it is not created. So it don't, doesn't mean the pub system gives you uh, in ecosystem to be intellectual. That you can have it even open Bali also. Somebody can open a good pub. We can have it go and sit there. Not a problem. We'll ask you to open a pub in the middle of the <laughs> aspen also. <laughs> So, to have a beer, I keep drinking and talking, but you should not drink too much and then fall down there. Okay? So, I think it, it's all in our mind. Okay? And I can tell you honestly, Hyderabad is the greatest ecosystem. I'll tell you why. Let us look at Central University. Let's not look at behind the, these campuses. Okay? I've seen so many IIT campuses. I've seen so many universities in the country. I can, I've seen US, many universities. And what I see in Central University, I'll tell you honestly, this is the only university where life science is there, engineering is there, chemistry is there, humanities is there. Do you have IITs has got anything? Only engineering. And maybe chemistry to teach chemical engineering students. Okay? I think you are better than IITs. But a mindset here, oh, IIT is better, IIT is better, IIT is better. But you don't realize your own value of as a campus, what you can contribute here in the ecosystem of this campus. That you are not realizing. Because always part of hills is good. You know, you can see from here, Bangalore is looks beautiful. But from Bangalore, people say, I have traffic is bad, and I want to, with the family, I want to live happily in Hyderabad. They say that. So that is there, very much different. So I think, you know, Central University has got tremendous potential uh, as compared to any IIT campus of this country. Okay, it's a competition. Uh, today is a competition among yourself. So are you better than IACD? Yes, you are better than IACD. You Are you better than CCME? Yes, you are better than CCME. You are better than you. This only institute, uh, Central University, has got all the faculties. You have. I spoke to neurosurgeon. I was talking neurosurgery, spinal cord, and uh, you know virology, and plant science, and uh, you know the humanities, everything, chemistry. So I talked to say uh, Rao Institute, statistics, mathematics. Which institute has got that type of infrastructure? I think it is a startup. Your mind has to change, and that ecosystem existing, but how do you use it? So coming with the startups. Okay. I'll tell about my startup story. I'll, let me finish my startup story. 96, I came back to India. I'm not from uh, Telugu Beta, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm from Tamil Nadu. <laughs> but my mother tongue is Telugu. Okay, I love Telugu. I'm Telugu. Uh, Telugu origin people, but Tamil Nadu origin. But it doesn't matter for us. In India, India. I was supposed to be in Bangalore. Uh, the chief minister was uh, too poorly drunk and he couldn't uh, answer what is biotechnology. <laughs> so I'm glad. So finally, I got frustrated and landed in Hyderabad. But default landed in Hyderabad. Okay, so not by choice, by default. So we landed. Okay, it's history after that. And we all genome values created. We launched the Hepatitis B vaccine. Every when I met '94 with P. V. Narasimhao in uh, UN Assembly '94 uh, in New York, the pharma company CEO executives were called in at uh, 6 o'clock for a snack. All the CEOs, from Sanofi to Pfizer, every month, CEOs are blaming Indian pharma company. They say, oh, Indian pharma company copies all our drugs. They, they use all our data. And they, we don't have any data exclusivity in India. All our data, what we create, they use it. So we don't have any protection. Like that, they were crying. You would cry. Uh, one hour, only that. After that, samosa, everybody ate and left. So I think, you know, what is important is, if India has to change, we can't copy a drug anymore. Because we are part of the trip agreement. We need to believe in uh, intellectual property. And that intellectual property we don't respect now. We can't go to higher GDP growth. We need to go higher GDP growth means we need to have that innovation culture. Coming to innovation, you look at fast innovation of India. India was a great country of innovation. That's how many innovations happened. You know, whether you have geography, or steel, you know, steel was invented by Indian, and uh, cataract surgery, Indian ink, everything was Indians innovated. But all of them we don't realize how fast. The present what happened, because of poaching class, we have all economic pressure driven us to become more job oriented. So whatever the exam closed, 
you pass exam, you go to IIT and uh, you go to US after that and then you get a uh, good dowry from uh, somewhere and then uh, you know that's a life sets in everything programmed, everything is programmed. Our science education is not driven by a passion of science, driven by idea, that idea like engage has to happen. So if you are, why I'm giving you, I think many of your children don't force them, you know, you get uh, study, uh, study, pass exam and go to IITs and all that. Nothing, IIT cannot teach you anything, I'm telling you. Innovation cannot be taught in IIT. It can get you a job, but it also can make you lazy people after 40 years. You'll never take a risk, that person. Okay? So I think you need to create that young generation, passion what you believe. Coming to startup, what I believe in is, if you're going by balance sheet, I want to succeed, I want to succeed this molecule, I want to make it big, I want. If you start thinking, you will never succeed, take my word. Think as startup, can I solve some society problem? If I solve the society problem, that becomes your business model. That means you are driven by the passion of intent to solve some other society problem. It cannot be Indian problem. It can be global problem also. Not a problem. Anything a society problem you're trying to solve, the passion comes in. When Vaishnava said three, four people, young people join together, young people mean all of them with the like-minded to solve a society problem. You all like-minded join together, debate, discuss, how do you solve the problem? Whether engineering, one guy, one guy, chemical, one guy, life science, all joined together. That's how the US uh, startups culture been built in. Here, we don't believe our own brother. And we believe in real estate. Any money is there, put in uh, immediately buy side, go up in Bali, one site immediately. We believe in real estate, unfortunately. We don't believe in the innovation. That because that will change. Take my word. The future coming to my uh, future, present is over. Future. The one great about India is Indians will love education in spite of all this. If you ask me, suppose some kid wants to go to IIT or Central University, your parents will need to sell the house to send your children to, to uh, send you to here to University of Hyderabad. That means parents inherently has that tendency of knowledge seeker. They want their children to be educated, their children to get what they want. Okay, so that culture is going to future for the country and going to sustainable model uh, for the future innovation of India. And I think, you know, um, the greatness of this country is a phenomenal opportunity, 1.3 billion. See, Americans want to come to India, not that because they like Indians. Okay, the 1.3 billion market potential that is there, the young people bring the young minds, which are bright, bright ideas can come out from them. You push me here, you get only biryani from my mouth. Nothing will come. Okay? Whereas young generation, you push it, ideas can come out. That brain is so bright, so free from all the ideas. So it can come out now. quickly, some ideas. And maybe you give two beer, it might get better ideas. Okay? That's why you're all thinking Bangalore ecosystem. Okay? Nothing wrong here. But what is important is, in a startup, when I came in 97, we started a company. And uh, all hurdles, I don't want to give all the hurdles story to you, which will be a negative story. I've forgotten all those things. How each collector ill treated her, treat you when you come from an NRI. NRI means non requiring it. They think, you know, you lost the job there. That's why you came here to suck some money from India. As if something, a lot of money is there in India. Okay? So I think, you know, people believe, but it doesn't matter. But what we believe in is we made a hepatitis B vaccine. Great, fine, no problem. It's a sustainable model because I was a yeast molecule biology. That is how the tools came in as yeast molecule biology. Leaving apart that, I said India has to innovate. The culture, that 94 PV Nasirong meeting was always bothering me. I think we need to create. So that's how Dr. Bond came into picture. We made a rotavirus vaccine. But again, rotavirus is the third vaccine in the world. After Merck and GSK, we are third vaccine, but first vaccine in the developing world. But in that rotavirus vaccine, there was no clinical research in this country at all. There was absolutely clinical research. You know, the pharma company will do biopillars. You inject ampicillin here, you inject ampicillin into the blood, you draw the blood, you do the HPLC profile, and you say both are equal. So my uh, 30 days, you get approved. And you apply for USMDA, you get approved beneficiary facility, and start exporting. It's just equal. There was no clinical research. And I think we brought a system of clinical research, because it's very important for you startups. If you want to succeed, you cannot succeed in the life science without clinical research. Your all R&D innovation can be greatest one in the world. You think it is greatest, but that translation requires between marketing and R&D is a clinical research. That's the biggest uh, thing. And when we did the rotavirus, efficacy trial, 
I just want to ask you here a lot of women here. Are how many women, if you are pregnant six months, you are pregnant? How many people want to give their baby for clinical trial? Lift. Highest center of excellence of this country, Central University. Now I am asking women here. Six months pregnant. Who will give the baby for a clinical trial? Anybody? Nobody wants to lift a hand. You see that? So how will the clinical research get progress in this country? In educated people itself is not willing to trust Indian clinical research. Then how do you move the innovation circle? It's just impossible. And I think we have to do a clinical trial in a, in a village system. It's not a hospitalized based trial. It's a community based trial. When we did a community based, then Gate Foundation, US government, everybody is involved in the project. They said, you cannot bribe the mother ethical reason. You cannot exploit the financial uh, condition of the mother. So we gave, okay, we came out a compromise formula. We gave three years health care for a mother and child. If mother has got a heart attack, we'll take care of mother. Baby gets some mother a hole in the heart, we'll take care of three years of health care for the baby. And we got the best vaccination program for the all child, whichever the rich kid can get, vocation of money kid can get. And they, all the vaccines are given to that baby. So that is what we did, nothing else. We, we gave a mobile phone to every mother, you press the button, it goes to the central uh, team, and you get uh, a yeah, 108 vehicle in less than 10, 15 minutes in their house, take it to CMC Velo or KAB or at RD Institute of Medical Science in Delhi. Take it to a hospital, simple the clinic. Then we are third company, I mean third company in the world, and great. So we looked at typhoid. Typhoid is very simple. The child in this country, the poor child, gets licking the floor, water contaminated in the villages, they give water contaminated, they get typhoid 30 days, 40 days, the, the baby gets a disease. And you now you go to pediatrician, some doctors are here, they go to pediatrician, they are, they are, you know, I spoke to some of pediatrician, I cannot tolerate the grandmothers of the baby and mother of the baby. <laughs> I don't mind treating a mother, but a baby, but not the mother and grandmother, okay? So they're so new, so we give three, four antibiotics, so that baby will be cured next to our 24 hours. Three, four antibiotics, not knowing which bacteria it is there. They go three, four antibiotics. In that process, we have got antibiotic resistance. Tremendous resistance. And actually in Karachi, in Pakistan, many 20 million children are being infected from school to a children to uh, egg birth. It's severe. They're not responding to even ciprotoxin, uh, latest uh, third generation antibiotic also. So we said, okay, we make, this is the people, problem, the village. So we made a typhoid conjugate vaccine, first time in the world. We made a typhoid conjugate because we need to solve this antibiotic resistance problem in the country and also the young children who are getting abused with antibiotic and children who are getting. So we made a typhoid conjugate vaccine. Then I went, I did a phase one, phase two, phase three in India, immunogenicity. Then I went to Gate Foundation. Gate Foundation said, I cannot trust your clinical trial. They said, we can't trust your clinical trial. I've done a thousand people a clinical trial. They said, we can't trust your clinical trial because you have conducted a clinical trial in India where antibiotic abuse is so much, so we can't make out whether it's antibiotic uh, control or is it a vaccine controlled uh, typhoid. You can't differentiate. Okay? So we got into a different problem again. Then we said, okay, let's do what do we do now. We asked the Gate Foundation, you have to help me on this. Then was Anita Zaidi, who was there at the Gate Foundation. She was passed you and understand, understood the issue. She said, okay, are you ready for a human challenge studies in a naive population? That naive population, either US or UK, or naive population, who are not being uh, exposed to the typhoid at all in that life. So we chose an Oxford University. We did 128 people. Now I want to ask the men here. How many people will be, have a 50% people placebo, 50% vaccinated, we don't know which one is that, and you have to drink in a water bottle mixed with the typhoid bacteria. How many people will drink? Men. At least I've got two gentlemen, three gentlemen, four gentlemen, five gentlemen, six gentlemen, at least six gentlemen, seven gentlemen. Okay? And that's why they call gentlemen. Okay? <laughs> okay? So, uh, I think, you know, that was done in the trial in Oxford. And uh, some one nurse who got a placebo, she suffered 45 days. She felt that she wrote in New York Times that I feel like a dying of uh, disease. Okay? So, I mean, none of them died, but all of them rescued when you have placebo, after 20 days we see that, and you give antibiotic and test to the patient, okay? So what I'm trying to say is, uh, my time is up. Uh, uh, carry on. <laughs> okay, so I think we did that. And then next question, we went to WHO. Sir, we want to introduce this vaccine, because WHO is, this is not a priority vaccine. 
Typhoid is not a priority because US and European doesn't get the typhoid, so it's not important. Okay, so we said, okay, we want this to be done. Oh, it's not a priority list. What do we do? We want to make it priority. Tell me how do we? Do. Then we said we need effectiveness in uh, seven, eight countries. So we chose a, okay again. Gate Foundation came in to help, and they funded us in uh, uh, Bangladesh, uh, Nepal, Burkina Faso, Malawi, Ghana, and Pakistan. Khan University, all the six, seven countries, we funded the project. We did effectiveness. Seven lakh children being vaccinated with the vaccine, followed up for two years that the, no children, a school will be vaccinated, another school will not be vaccinated. So followed up for two years that no children get sick, and we got 89% effective in the field situation. And that got a global recognition. In nature medicine, they covered the first headline, the product that made headline 2018 was typhoid malaria in the nature medicine. That's the first new molecule coming from India and from the world. And I think, you know, what is important, one can be, it is, if we go by balance sheet, typhoid was not an important at all. Nobody will touch typhoid vaccine. Okay? And just you go by what society facing a problem. And that, you know, Tabu Yambiki came to our plan. Tabu Yambiki came, he said, you guys, Indian, want to exploit all African market, but you don't want to solve the African problem. He was very critical to me. And actually, his missus was also critical. And he also said, you have to help. You have every moral responsibility. India should help Africa. OK? I said, I, I couldn't understand why moral responsibility for us, Indian government. I'm an Indian government. Why should I bother about it? Then his wife asked me, did you understand his point? No, ma'am. I didn't understand. You know, Mahatma Gandhi was exported by South Africa. If you have not exported to the Mahatma Gandhi, you would not have got the independence. <laughs> so therefore, we need to help Africa. <laughs> Okay, so we said we took it uh, as a strategy. We were partnered with University of Maryland, and we were partnered with Welcome Trust. There is no business; nobody knows the poultry typhoid is going to humans in Africa, and it's a severe death. They get a brain fever; they all of them die. Somebody got a malaria infection earlier, and if they get this uh, NTS called man typhoid and salmonella, and shoot to die, it's a major problem in West Africa and East Africa. So we said, okay, we'll do that, and we got uh, Welcome Trust funded. We are, uh, Yogeshwar knows he's a project in charge of that. And we made a product, JMP product. We did a phase one in Baltimore, US, IMP, India approved. And we did a phase one there. Results came out. Now Welcome Trust and Gate Mountain both are joining together, funding the phase two or three in African trial. Why I'm saying is, if you go, the what business Pfizer, Prevenar vaccine, five twenty billion billion, let's make Prevenar. You go by that standard, you will never make it. You will never make it. It's not right approach also. Okay? Look at your society, what your where you are, or which other country has facing some problem. That is how the COVAX came in history for us. The reason is it is our country problem. It's our country thing. We don't develop. We'll be on a geopolitics politics will start. The black you know, some other person said if India doesn't have action, other person said it has to be sold at two thousand rupees a dose vaccine. Okay? We would have been come under that umbrella of the 2,000, 3,000 rupees dose, that Indian government will not have money to purchase also. That was the people started propagating on geopolitics. So COVAX is very simple. We created BSL-3 production vessel. And I want to tell you, BSL-3 labs are there. Many people get confused in the committees and all that. Oh, BSL-3, we have also have BSL-3. BSL-3 production facility is different from BSL-3 lab. And we are the only one built in BSL-3 lab in the world, first time in the world. We created for pandemic because I was predicting pandemic will come one day. The 2006 chicken gunia gave us indication. Then after the Zika indication, all clearly shown that there's a bust is going to come. Future is going to be there, one day. Around. That's how we created a BSL-3 facility in Hyderabad. And I think I'm proud to say that we have probably only company in the world having eight uh, BSL-3, BSL-4 production facilities in the world. Nobody, even U.S. doesn't have. Even U.S. doesn't have BSL-3, BSL-4 production facility. Only one in Philbright in UK is their BSL-4 facility. And in Bangalore, we have three BSL-4 production facility. Now we acquired one in Mud facility in Pune. That is also BSL-4 production facility in Pune. So why I'm saying is, this is all strategically important for a country. Because now the vaccine is not the healthcare alone. It is like a nuclear of of, of the entire trade and the economy can collapse. One small virus can destroy the economy. Just forget about nuclear. Just one small virus. So I think it, it is 
it, it's giving a signal to the society, our greed of real estate, we are going towards the forest area. We have deforestation happening, we are going closer to the animals, and the animals viruses are now start incubating with us and going back and going up and down. This is happening. We are communicating each other between animal and us. I think we are worse than animals, actually. Animals are much intelligent. They are staying in the forest. Only thing, we are animals going to that animal side. And that is where causing all this problem right now. And it will increase. It's not, it's a question of time, which one, which one. Is the next one, is the food uh, security. Will be a problem. Food security will be another one, pandemic on this one. So I think, uh, you know, we are working on various things. We work with the global partnership. And today, science cannot be done individually, honestly. We have so many clinical research uh, consultants all over the world. To have, uh, we have a biostatistician from the uh, University of Maryland and uh, clinical, clinical research from all over the world we have, because science cannot be done in isolation. We need to do science, which are on par with US. I'm telling you honestly, Covaxin, 18 publications, and five Lancet publications, one Nature publication. And I'm telling a high impact factor, but in spite of all these things, media start criticizing. Some, there are some scientists, pseudo-scientists, they don't like Modi, so they attack me also, they combine me also. Oh, he's also <laughs> BGP man. You see how, how they politicize the country, I know, I mean, you have to be, Central University is one place. We have congressmen, BGP men, communists, all of that here. It is an auditorium also. <laughs> okay? So, I think you polarize. You polarize. Science also became polarized in that process. But one thing, I'm sad, that no scientist came forward attacking the other scientist who is talking about India against India. That is the sad part of this Indian science. Everybody is thinking selfishly, I take care of my interest. I am a scientist. I am a best man in the world. I am a best scientist. I am stay back at home. That not work. It will happen to you one day. Okay? Startups needs help. If they will be attacked, today and also start up another message I want to give. Don't talk to too much to media. What you talk today, it will be damaging article after uh, six months. Some other company will give you some information to that and they will write negative about you. So don't get tempted. Oh, I came in times of India. I came in economic time. Don't show all those things. It's a waste of time. Just do the best science and ignore all the surroundings. Talk to the people, but I want one more message I want to give. Scientists are highest insecure people. Scientists think, startups think, science is the, the only solution for the business. But I can tell you with all the experience of 24 years, you know, I found that science only contributes 5 to 10 percent in, in your business. Only 5 to 10 percent. 90 percent, 90, 95 percent is other things. But the clinical research, regulatory, our financial management and marketing, everything comes to 90-95%. So don't think you have a science, best science, best innovation, best pattern. Doesn't mean it becomes a, going to be a role mo business model going to roll out. No, it will not happen. Okay. And I'm, I'm telling you this, one more example I'll tell you. You know, uh, my colleague the head is also here. I looked at Nagpur farmer committing suicide. And that is the time Sharath Power was agriculture minister. M.S. Swaminathan in Delhi. All big people are there. So I was not understanding why is the Nagpur farmers are committing suicide. Then I asked, which is the rainfall which is close to the Na Nagpur rainfall? I found Kolar district in Karnataka is similar rainfall, similar rainfall Nagpur and uh, Kolar. I said the Kolar farmer nobody commits a suicide. Why is the Kolar farmer doesn't commit, uh, commit suicide? Only Nagpur farmers commit suicide. Then I went back. I went to Nagpur also to look at it. What their cropping pattern? And the cropping pattern only cotton. When a cotton is grown, the crop fails, the farmer commits suicide. They have taken a look. Polar district, they grow multi sericulture, dairy, poultry, mango garden, and vegetables. They have diversified crops. So allied agriculture like dairy, poultry, are sustaining them to survive as a farmer. Then I it took me a reality of the life of the agriculture of this country, because basically I'm an agriculture graduate. Okay? So thought. But today farmers are surviving not because of agriculture, it is because of other allied agriculture. That allied agriculture is a critical, that is how sustained the agriculture economy in this country. That's how I started BioVet, veterinary vaccine in Bangalore. And that is now acquired MSD Animal Healthcare in Pune. And we we'll, probably in another two years, we'll become the largest uh, animal uh, vaccine company in the world. We'll be even uh, Origin Ingel have uh, in Germany company also in another two, three years. When they allow the foreign strain to come to India, 
that will become the dominant player in the global. Because the food security will come in that animal side next. A poultry, just look at example. If poultry HYN1 comes in, will you eat the chicken? Nobody will eat chicken. At chicken price, nobody will buy. And if chicken price also can go up, which is HYN1 chicken free mean, that the uh, 2,000 rupees cage. They will give a certification. HYN free. Somebody will do PCR here. She gave me a kid. So HYN1 free chicken. So they'll give a uh, 2,000, 5,000 rupees cage. So it's going to be a change in the game, okay? So I think, you know, a lot of ideas I have. I, I create based on a society needs. Please, my humble request to scientists, don't go behind money. Try to solve society problem. You will make it the best success story in the world. And that's a model to be created. That's how the US is created. US startups, every small issue, they look at it. That small issue is an opportunity for them to build on the business. So I'll leave it. If any questions are there, thank you very much for giving me opportunity. Any questions are there? Right on time. Follow.